Well, I think we've got a really good opportunity here. The UK has always been renowned for having high quality but progressive regulation. And so what we're seeking to do with that is to let people, firms, make the most of the opportunities from crypto assets and the broader distributed ledger technologies, uh, but also combine that with good, pragmatic, proportionate regulation. Uh, so what I think we're learning is there's a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of interest, uh, and people do see the value of combining those two things, doing it here because they get the imprimatur of high quality regulation, but also the benefit that everything else that London and the UK brings to the financial sector. And is this likely to result in, in new specific crypto regulation or will it work within existing uh, bit of regulation? both. A bit of both. I mean, wherever possible, we want to see the same asset, the same transaction regulated in the same way. Uh, but there are some additional opportunities uh, in the crypto asset or distributed ledger space and we want to make advantage of that. So to give you an example, uh, settlement using fiat-backed uh, cryptocurrencies uh, for, whole, for settlement, for payment mechanisms, that's already in the financial services bill, so that's coming even sooner than the broader regulatory framework. Do you have any idea when we may start to see specific crypto regulation in the UK? Well, I think, look, over the next 12 or so months is the, uh, is the window. We've got this great asset in the UK. We've got control back of our rule book, not something the UK's had for decades. So we've got the ability to move in an agile and proportionate way. And I'm definitely keen we make the most of that opportunity. And there's a lot of study going on about a so-called digital pound, a central bank digital mm. currency as yeah. well. Uh, the latest is that it's likely that one will be needed. Um, what's the sort of roadmap for this going forward? Can you give us any indication when we may have a digital pound in the UK? Yeah, but look, it's, it's got a long lead time. I mean, th th there's, there's both policy issues around things like privacy and how you get that right, uh, and there's technology issues. If you're going to have a sovereign digital currency, you've got to have the highest level of resilience and infrastructure. So that's not going to happen overnight. Uh, I'd like to see the policy debate and some of the, the, the major uh, debate issues thrashed out over the next 12 months. That's what the purpose of the consultation is. Uh, and in parallel, uh, the Bank of England are looking at what it will take to operationalize that. As you say, you know, it does feel like that's a coming opportunity. And again, somewhere where the UK can be one of the one of the leaders. Just want to get your take on, on the state of the UK economy as well. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt saying the UK economy is back. Uh, the IMF, however, predicting shrinkage this year. Are you expecting a recession in the UK this year? Well, I'm not a forecaster. I'm encouraged by the resilience of the UK economy. Uh, we've obviously so far avoided the recession that some forecast. Uh, but my objective, one of the reasons it's so fabulous to be here uh, at this innovative summit here today, is to get growth. Uh, and how do we get growth? We unleash pockets of capital. We have regulatory systems that allow people in a sensible way to grow their businesses, to deliver great products to customers, and to harness the wonderful innovation we're seeing, whether it's you know, mass data sets uh, or the application of artificial intelligence uh, in a way that brings benefits to the economy. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.